this for him. I'm like, why is he in the ring with this big old dude? And uh, man, I swear he done caught this dude on the chain. Boom, dude, wobbling all around the ring. I'm like, what the fuck? How is this dude this strong? <laughs> but it's like, uh, honestly, uh, Bud is very strong. A lot of people don't realize how strong he is as a fighter. And uh, his punching power could carry through the weight classes. What's so, your view of the media, Shako? My view of the media? I got a different view at home. I think y'all full of shit too. But I really <laughs> don't enough. but I really don't care. Like I don't it don't bother me. Um, only thing that do bother me is like spreading false lies. I don't like the lies that be getting spread by certain media people. Uh, I think that's wrong to put them type of lies on the athlete, especially being that I'm the person who go in the ring, fight against everybody. And the type of person I am, I don't care who it is. Like just put them in front of me, I'm gonna fight. So I hate when somebody try to make a different logic or a different narrative that's not true. Or like the clickbait headlines, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, that's why I don't like. But at the end of the day, once again, um, I don't got no issue with it. Uh, I keep moving, it's whatever with me. So. Yeah, yeah, Tim, 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 you give back to a lot of the, the fighters coming up behind you, yeah. right? What do you think about another guy that's a, on the verge of people believe he'll be a superstar, Kamel Moten making his debut? Uh, tomorrow night. I think Camille the truth. Um, I, I I had the opportunity to spar him. Uh, what fight was that? Oh, for my last fight actually uh, against Yoshino, I sparred him. Um, I think he the truth. Uh, he got speed. Um, he got good boxing skills. Um, I think he ready. I think he ready. He's a great fighter. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens in the future. Bro. Who does he remind you of? If you have to say, he reminds me of. Uh, stylistically. Maybe like a, a in a way with, with more punches, cause he kind of throw more punches than anyway. Cause he fast, sharp, keep his hands up. So I say like a in a way um, with, with a lot more punches. Have you seen how strong of a puncher? I mean, he's a kid right now, so uh, you can't tell how strong he is right now. Uh, through the years, he's probably gonna be able to punch real good. And speaking of sparring, Shakira, obviously I got to see you spar one time and I seen you do the same thing as Bud, those four men around. Um, is that talk to the level of your conditioning? I don't think a lot of people realize that that's something that you do. I, I can't I can't keep telling y'all the secrets, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that I something that you that actually, secret. is that something you picked up from Bud from y'all first sparring session? I heard you speak yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something I picked up from uh, Bud. Um, Another fighter that do it too, uh, Boots. Boots and them do it. Uh, yep, in Philly. Philly. Yeah, I heard that you got to uh, go in that gym at Philly Boxing 101 or whatever. Um, yeah, what did you think about the Philly style compared to New, New Jersey? Obviously, y'all both East Coast. I mean, it's just two different styles, but uh, both teaching the same philosophy. Uh, hit, don't get hit. Um, Philly style, they got more so the shell, uh, defense. Uh, where I'm from is just, you know, we ain't got like a specific style, but we'll probably use our legs a little bit more, our feet a little bit more. But honestly, uh, the Philly style is a good style to have too. Shakur, I, I saw you with King Jr. What's your thoughts on King Jr., man? That's my little man. Uh, he's definitely a great fighter. Um, he comes in the gym with me, train with me. Uh, I got to like play spar with him a little bit, and uh, he gonna be great. Um, Come in the future, he's gonna be able to take over. There was a time when you were the kid in the gym and people were talking about you. Now you're almost like an elder statesman in yeah. some ways. Do you feel like that? Yeah, for sure. Uh, honestly, you gotta like, you gotta see like when all the little kids. I'll be having like a bunch of little kids come to my gym, and I probably end up sparring with them. I go 20 rounds straight with every little kid in the gym, just playing around. But uh, I, I enjoy those moments. Like I enjoy giving back to them kids and uh, being somebody that's. Cause they they look at me like I'm somebody else, like uh, somebody big in the world. But at the end of the day, I try to show them that I'm human. So I try to be able to talk to them uh, regular, um, be in communication with them. King, he could DM me anytime, talk to me anytime. Uh, his father is all love. At the end of the day, I just want to be here for uh, the next generation. Hey, you How good is Keyshawn Davis? How good is Keyshawn? Keyshawn a bad motherfucker. Uh, I can't wait to see what he gonna do. In his next fight. Um, I've been enjoying it, watching Keyshawn over the years too. Keyshawn, they don't understand. Keyshawn's somebody that was right here with me every day, like, grew up with me. I, I took, like, how Bud was taking me under the wing, I took Keyshawn under the wing at a certain period of time. And uh, just watching him grow now, like, he kind of backed away and started doing his own thing. But I enjoy watching it. You seen that kid, Jamal Harvey, on Team USA? 
Yeah, yeah. I sparred him before. I, I heard I heard some good things. What do you think? He's a, yeah, he's an okay fighter. What's any advice for Kamel Morton? I mean, you go back to your pro debut. What would you do for him? What, what should he expect? Uh, I think that he probably just going to have a little bit of... But the thing is with him, he in the gym with pros every single day. So his adjusting to the uh, pros might be quick. Like, he might be able to adjust to it real quick. So um, the only advice I give him is uh, stay focused, keep doing what he's doing, and keep his dad next to him. Floyd, yeah, Floyd, you, Floyd you, you, suggested that he could fight um, Lee Wood for the world title in his debut. What's your view of that suggestion? Uh, it'd be inter interesting. Uh, let's see how he look in his pro debut. And then after that, uh, let's see that quick. What, what, what can he do. He's a good fighter. How many times did you spot One time. Just one time. Yeah, yeah, you remember how many rounds? I want to say we did six. <laughs> six rounds, yep. Chico, Tyson, uh, Bob Aaron was just telling us that Tyson Fury's upcoming purse is uh, uh, exceeding $100 million. I think you're a future pound for pound number one fighter. Do you think you're wait, a future wait, 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 wait. $100 come million? Come dollar? Come on, come on, come on. Bob going to pay him the hundred million? No, that's Saudi. the prince. The prince in Saudi. For the Usyk fight, for Usyk, not for Usyk. Do you uh, think you're a future hundred million dollar boxer? What kind of steps do you think you need to get there if you're kind of avoided by some people? I would love to fight in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> 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 I would love it. I think that would be amazing. Uh, they should definitely bring somebody with my talents to come down there and uh, put on a big show for them. I would, Who's I would the ideal opponent for you out there? Devin or Javonte? Anybody, Anybody. Whoever, whoever they want to see, I'm down to pull up and, and fight them. Hey, well, you said you that said. you was going to fight. If, if the tank fight was to materialize, you said you can't make him any offers. But if he offers you less, are you willing to take less just to make sure that fight gets made? Offer me less of what? A split, pay-per-view split if he calls 60-30. Is it about the business at the end of the day or is it about the opportunity? 60-40? Yeah. Uh, honestly, why, why would I not take it? Uh, <laughs> Man, I ain't trying to get into the business, but uh, like I said, once again, he's the biggest superstar in the sport. So give me the call, I'm, I'm ready to, I'm ready to talk. Hey, champ, you, you, you said how Terrence Crawford. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I think he's a harder challenge than uh, Frank Martin. Uh, once again, I've been watching him, so I kind of see like uh, he got great movement. He got great punching power. I watched this fight with uh, I don't know. with Rayo. Rayo. Yeah. Uh, he kind of uh, kept catching them in the exchanges, and he's real good at uh, exchanging with fighters. So we'll see come fight night how he presents. So what do you see him as a bigger puncher than that? Do I see him as a bigger puncher? Yeah, I think he's a bigger puncher than. Hey, Chim, From you, the outside looking in. Hey, Chim, you, t you you mentioned how strong Terence Crawford is. We see he always likes to wrestle. And we obviously know he's a striker. Do you think he could translate into the UFC since he can wrestle? He's a world class wrestler, he's strong, and he can strike? Yeah, I think he'll, he'll work some of them people's ass in the uh, UFC. Uh, yeah, I, I can see him doing that. But I mean, he, he probably wouldn't do it. But I, my opinion, yeah, I think he, he'll do that. With those little gloves on that. Yeah, he'll probably catch some knockouts. It's real knockouts. Bad. <laughs> Seeing that your last fight at 130 was against Consecal, I mean, obviously he was a gold medalist. He was he was picked to be a tough opponent. It didn't seem like he was too tough to you. Um, who do you pick in the Navarrete and Consecal fight? I think Navarrete going to win, but the thing is uh, that y'all got to understand early is um, styles make fights. So if Navarrete go stop him quicker than I do, or he beat this dude, well, he punched this dude harder than I did, and his face was more messed up, or however you want to do it. Style makes fights. So, um, stylistically, I could see him right, stopping Kansi Style late, but uh, Kansi Style going to give him a little trouble early. Do you have a preference over who you would fight next, Navarrete or Lomachenko? Lomachenko. I would fight Lomachenko because it's a bigger fight. And um, he got a big name at 135, so... When I smoke him, I think that the, the world would uh, understand that I, I really am the truth. Do you think he beat Penny? Penny? Uh, yeah, I do think he beat uh, that. You think you stop him? I think it's a possibility uh, that I stop him. And if not, uh, I'll be beating the shit. How long do you anticipate hanging around at 35? And how many more weight classes do you, do you hope to come For me? Yeah. I could say at 35 for a long time, so, yeah. but I don't got no trouble. Making weight once again. Uh, 
I enjoy fighting with 35, so uh, I've been here for a long time. Lomachenko's team, they said after that sparring session you had with Lomachenko, they see him and you. Do you think that that's the reason why they want to stay away from you? Uh, I don't know. I ain't going to speak on sparring. I keep sparring in the gym. But, um, like I said, I would love to fight Lomachenko. I don't know why we didn't fight this fight. That should have been the next fight. I heard he got offered the biggest pressure of his career and turned it down. So hopefully we can still make something happen. Um, I don't see why not. Would you invite him? But I invite him with. To your fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him to Ringside? Yeah. Then he can come in the ring afterwards? He can come. I wouldn't run nowhere. I stand right there. And we'll he can talk walk you out. It. No, he can't walk me out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a okay fight. I don't got no pick for it. Uh, Regis, I'm real cool with him. Uh, so I heard that you you got to spar Regis before. Is that true? Yeah, I got a, I got some rounds in. Uh, I sparred Regis twice. How did you feel at 140 or like filling yourself out with a 40 pounder? I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Uh, like I said, I ain't gonna speak on sparring. I try to keep sparring in the gym. Regis is a hell of a fighter. I could hang with. I, I spar with 140 pounders all the time, so like that ain't ain't really no big difference. So moving up wouldn't be a problem to you at all. Once again, weight don't win fights, skill win fights. That's how I look at it. Exactly. T-Mobile, how do you feel about that? That's big. It's big. Let's do it. It's actually more seats than MGM, so this time, I mean, with you being on the headline, how does it feel? I mean, you had a headliner with Oscar Valdez this time. It's not as big of an opponent. It's not a unification, but it is still for a belt. It's me. I'm the show, so at the end of the day, uh, I got to put the asses in the seats, and uh, I'm willing to do everything I can to make it happen. And you got another camp here in Vegas. Is, is Vegas going to be pretty much like a second home for you when it comes to doing training camps? Uh, yeah, it's, it's already been a second home. Uh, a lot of my fights in my career, I done trained in Vegas. Honestly, the best performances of my career came from training camps in Vegas, so uh, ain't nothing going to change. You're close with uh, Jared Big Baby Anderson. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the comments he made many leads people to believe that he's no longer in love with the sport of boxing. What's your thoughts on his outlook and his uh, passion for the sport of boxing today? Uh, nothing but love for, for my brother Jared. Um, I ain't really got no comments on anything that he said. Uh, whatever he said, that's what he believes, and uh, he stand on whatever he believes, so um, I'm standing with him. Whatever he believes and whatever he direction he go in, I'm standing with him. Appreciate your chance. Yeah, it's always Thank you. Thank you so much.